Hello everyone, this is a throttle position sensor also known as TPS. And degrading of this TPS is the main issue of single point injection systems like Bosch Monomatronic and Monogetronic. Let's look closer on it. The wearing of the resistive tracks of this sensor leads to unstable engine operation at idle, jerking, dips, loss of power and increased fuel consumption. And also here you can see a damaged brush. This is a real pain. And I decided to solve this issue radically. Instead of an obsolete resistive TPS, today we will install a new contactless TPS, which is absolutely not a subject to wear. Here is it. And it's very easy to install, to calibrate, to configure it by using a special Android application. The kit includes a Bluetooth model, a distance frames, a connectors, mountain bolts and a magnet. Also here I already installed the Android application on my smartphone to configure this sensor. Since I can't crawl with the camera in all places, I removed an injection unit from my vehicle and in this tutorial I will show you some installation tips and tricks here on the table. Now let's move to the garage and proceed with the installation of this sensor. First of all, we need to remove an air filter or a duct. Also, we need to remove the vacuum tubes of the thermal control valve of the inlet air preheater. Now, please pay attention to this clearance between the throttle control lever and the stopping bolt. Here is it. The presence of this gap indicates that the throttle is partly ajar with the idle speed regulator, which is located here. In order to perform the initial calibration of the new sensor and also checking the correct adjustment of the clearance of the idle switch, we must completely close the throttle. To do this, turn on the ignition. Then manually open the throttle and hold it in this state with the one hand. By a finger of the other hand, we must press the idle switch, while the idle control rod will not be fully retracted into the regulator. As soon as this rod is fully retracted, release the switch and remove the connector from the idle regulator. The throttle lever must lay down on this stopping bolt. If this is the case, then you can turn off the ignition and proceed to dismantle the old TPS and installing a bushing with a magnet on the throttle's axis. The installation process of the magnet on the axis is very simple. After installing the bushing, be sure to apply ordinary automotive sealant to this place. After hardening, the sealant reliably fixes the bushing against accidental rotation in the future. 
for applying a sealant, I recommend you to use a conventional medical syringe. On vehicles equipped with an automatic transmission, additional brushes on the throttle lever may interfere with the installation of the bushing. In order not to damage these brushes, you need to partially remove the excess material of the bushing locally here with a file. Something like this. Well, while the sealant dries, we will connect the sensor in accordance with the pinouts and diagrams that are available on our website. For additional recommendations on connecting the 12 volt power cup cable and the ref voltage, we will talk in the next videos and the link will be added to the description below. To connect wiring, I highly recommend you to use uh, soldering or special crimps. However, if you don't have those, you can make a classic twist and insulate everything with an insulation tape or a head shrink tube. You can cut off the original connector and use the new connector to make an adapter, just in case. But I think that you will never need this adapter again. Uh, but just in case, let him lie in the glove compartment. After we connected the wiring, the sensor can be immediately installed on the throttle body. Be sure to center and fix the sensor so there are no steps on the spacers and on the sensor. Now we need to insert the Bluetooth module into the connector on the sensor in accordance with the pinout. While we're doing this, the ignition must be turned off. Now we must turn on the ignition and if everything was done right, the LED on the Bluetooth module will be flashing. Now we need to search for Bluetooth devices and add a new HC06 device. To pair with the device, we will use the password 1234. Now you can start the application and connect to the sensor. If the connection is OK, in the lock you will see the appropriate message about the successful connection and the firmware version. Messages in the lock are displayed immediately in two languages, Russian and English. Now let's start the calibration of the initial position of the sensor. To do this, click on the image of the sensor, select the calibration item on the fully closed throttle and press the calibrate button and wait about 10 seconds. After 10 seconds gone, you can start the dashboard and make sure that the output of the first track has a voltage about 0.14 to 0.17 volts.
Try to open and close the throttle several times and make sure that everything works and reading of the angle changes. After that, you can install the idle regulators connector on its place while the ignition is turning on. The idle regulator should work and open the throttle slightly. In some cases, you will need to push on an idle switch to start working the idle regulator. Now, let's try to start the engine. As you see, everything works great. And also guys, don't forget to connect this vacuum tube of the thermal valve on the its place. It remains only to install back to its place the air ducts and the air filter. Make it a strip and if necessary make fine tuning of the sensor. As you can see the installation process is very simple and any of you can cope with it on your own. In the description below I will post a link on the web page where you can order this sensor. Also there you will find a lot of useful information like a tuning software and pinout and wiring diagram and other interesting stuff. And in the following videos we will talk on how to precisely adjust this sensor to achieve an optimal ratio of power and fuel economy. For today that's all, good luck guys and see you in the next videos, bye bye!